all know, it's um, our second edition for this competition. And um, are you guys all from Mississauga? No, I am. Okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, you know, for today's edition, we, we came all the way to the west because we want to get like more people from the west end to come out as well. Because you know, in, like being over in Toronto is far for a lot of you guys, right? And um, so what's gonna happen right now is um, we're waiting on one of the judges still. And uh, when that judge arrives, we'll be able to start. And we'll start with this group first, so we don't have to, like. I mean, you guys don't have to sit around to wait for um, mm -hmm. the other people that are late. So we'll run the first round. Um, everyone's gonna wait outside in the lounge area, and then we're gonna get you get to come in one by one afterwards. So this room, oh. yeah. The judges are gonna be in here, and I just need to do a very very short brief briefing. So that's why I wanted you guys to come in. Um, you can let your parents know afterwards, uh, you know, for you guys, you know, what we talked about. Um, you guys all got the rule sheet, right? The rule? Okay, no, I just want to make sure you have it with you and bring it home. Um, I'm going to go through it very quickly. I'm just going to talk to you guys about the key points and then, um, you know, just and then ask you guys if you guys have any other questions later on, right? So um, I'm going to talk a little bit first. So um, as you all know, this competition is um, organized by the Canadian Multicultural Council um, in partnership with the Heart and Stroke Foundation here. And uh, this year, I'm the event manager, um, running the event for them, and then Toronto Sun is our media partner. Okay, and uh, the reason for uh, the competition, um, if you guys don't know, is there's actually quite a few reasons. Number one is to uh, create awareness for the Heart and Stroke Foundation amongst the young Asian people, right? And uh, the second purpose is because May, every May is Asian Heritage Month. So this event is also to create awareness for this, um, or to celebrate actually, um, Asian heritage. Um, I'm not sure what background you guys are, but like um, any Asians can participate. So if you know of any friends who are of Asian background and would like to compete in this competition, we still have three more editions next week. So like, let them know. Uh, make sure you join our Facebook group because all the information will be posted on Facebook. Right? Uh, did you guys all join? Yeah. So okay. Because <laughs> like, uh, most information is going to be there. All updates or anything regarding the, um, you know, the auditions preliminaries will be posted. And it will be under the discussions as well. Right? Um, so, <coughs> okay, again. <laughs> wanted to bring up the Facebook thing. Um, on Facebook, we also publicized, um, well, published a, a rule, not a rule, but um, uh, one of the awards that we came up with regarding um, the community. Because this is a community event. We want different cultures to come out. So uh, we created a community support award program. What it means is, uh, because we have like at, at least like 13 or 12, 13 th different Asian cultures, right? Chinese being the majority, and the Filipinos and all the other ones, right? Uh, we want you guys to support your own community, to bring out as many people in your own community as possible. So the community, in the end, we're going to look at all the forms and uh, all the people who came out. Who, whichever community brings out the most people, right, will get this um, community support award. So in return, like, you know, what do you guys get for doing that, right, is uh, that community, who, uh, whichever community that won, gets a free karaoke night together, right, at one of the karaoke bars. Uh, it's free of charge. You now go, um, drinks and food are free. And um, obviously, if you drink alcohol, then that will be extra. But, you know, underage people, you don't drink, so it's okay. Um, so that's the community award, right? Um, that's also a chance for you guys to meet the people, you know, in your own community, right? And this will happen, you know, whenever. Um, the times we'll set a date together with all the people in that community and then set a date for that community award. And um, aside from the community award, we also have the referral program. Yeah. I was going to say, when you say community, what if you bring out like multicultural people? Not just from your own community, but from like yeah, Indian friends, Pakistani yeah. friends, so Chinese friends, yeah, that would all what, count. That would all count, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be counted towards the community, right? Oh. It'll be counted towards your own referral. Oh. So everyone in your own community, like what background Chinese. are you? Chinese. Chinese background. Okay, let's say you bring out, you know, it doesn't matter who you bring out, right? Anyone, um, you know, in, like pr of different cultural backgrounds, you bring them out. The person who brings out in that community brings out the most people. 
right? Also wins an award. And what do they get? They get a free recording at the studio. So you get to record. Um, so that's a referral yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. But it, again, it works towards your community ones too, right? Okay. So, um, you know, if you want to support your community, you bring out the people. And also, how, how do you benefit on, like, you know, yourself is you get the recording at the studio. So you'll get a song, pick whatever song you want to record, and you get recorded, and then it'll be, like, professionally done. Okay? So that's um, one thing that was not mentioned before. It was only posted on Facebook. So I have to let everybody know here. So another rule that um, wasn't posted, some people were asking was, <coughs> can they attend more than one edition? Yes, you can. We're not going to announce who makes it to the preliminaries until after all preliminaries are done, right? Until after the 25th, that is. But let's say today you weren't satisfied with your performance, right? So what happens is then, you know, you can come back next week to attend another edition. How, how, like how does that work? You come in, you also fill out another registration form. You get a new number, so you'll be treated as a new contestant. So whatever scores that um, you got today will not matter because you know, you'll be treated as two different contestants. Right? So um, you know, some people might want to come back two times or three times or whatever, depending on um, you know, how you feel about it. Right? So that's clear. Any questions about that? Okay, so uh, about the additions right now, it's actually very simple. Um, we talked about it at Kapala, you don't need to prepare anything, right? Just come in later on, um, introduce yourself. That's what the judges want to hear, right? So what they want would be, um, you know, other than, oh, hi, my name is whatever, uh, I'm how many years old or whatever. Like, you know, they want to hear more about yourself. So tell them a little bit about your background before you start, you know, singing. So after you give a little brief background about yourself, um, you don't have to wait for a cue because you can, like, you know, the judges are ready. You can just start whenever you're comfortable and start your song. You don't, uh, it depends if you want to sing the full song, right? You're allowed, like, you know, um, to sing either half or the full song. It doesn't really matter. Some people, um, you know, are at our audition yesterday, they sang, um, you know, even the full song or just, like, exactly half the song. And you can start wherever you want. You don't have to necessarily start at the beginning <coughs> of the comp I mean, of the song. So start whatever, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Eh? And uh, it's not just singing, right? You want probably want to give them like you know also an impression of like you know, um, stage, stage, yeah, stage yeah, performance stage or whatever. Even there's even though there's no music, but I mean you can still do your performance part, right? Because they're going to be looking at all that. And another note on this is um, other than judging on like. Um, performance and your vocal skills and different things like you will be also judge um, based well not today though let's say for the preliminaries right because um, it's going to be an open mall show so uh, you know judges are also going to be looking at you know the number of people you actually be able to bring to all these uh, mall shows there's no fee or no charge for these people to attend these uh, shows but um, the judges want to look at um, you know uh, you know whether or not you have like you know support from friends and family and they want to look at that right it's an overall sort of um, uh, <coughs> uh, well I can say package right like you know you present yourself in a way and uh, that will not be an actual score on your um, score sheet but it will only be a factor so it will influence you know the score eventually so and at every stage they're looking at different things. So you have to work hard throughout the competition. Auditions, you can get away if, you know, as long as you can sing and sort of thing, like whatever, right? So and then after that, you know, they look at more in depth like, of, of all, like, you know, the skills and stuff that you can, like, present to the judges. Okay? So uh, let me go through this. Uh, any questions regarding that? Do we have a live accompany us? Um, for preliminaries? Yeah. yeah. Any uh, anything? Uh, for preliminaries and quarterfinals or whatever, right? Okay. Um, so it have to you have to let us know ahead of time whether or not, like, uh, you know, because you, you have to mic like a guitar or something. Exactly. Technically, it should be a problem, mm -hmm. um, but you have to let us know before. Okay. Yeah. You can't just show up that day with an instrument, right? Okay. Um, so, other than additions, like for additions, obviously nothing, no music at all, just yourself, right? So, okay, I talked about this stuff. Additions, I talked about. Um, preliminaries, so I'm not going to uh, go first. Yeah. Preliminary is a week after our last um, edition. So you have until, like, you know, when we um, announce, you know, who makes it, you have a few days to prepare. So we'd like you to prepare ahead of time. Right? Yeah. Are they going to be majority of the time, like, weekend? Yes. Okay. 
all the additions, um, preliminaries, quarterfinals, everything is on the weekend. Okay. Okay. So that was a complication. So um, that's another thing. We, if you want it to what, I mean, go through the whole competition and go right into the finals, like you would have to make yourself available on weekends. Because, I mean, everything is going to happen throughout May, every single weekend in May. Right? Although you only have to attend two. Because it's only one quarterfinals that you need to go to and one preliminary. If you have yeah. a conflict, can you switch the day? You have to let us know again oh, ahead of time. Fine. Right? Um, because, again, we, we're going to have to like, choose people randomly to the different locations for the preliminaries. So um, we don't want people to be like, oh, choosing which one to go to. Right. Yeah. right? So just let us know if you really can't make it. Okay. Because right? I know like May 16th for sure. No. Okay. Then, you know, we have two more uh, before that. So okay. that shouldn't be a problem. Um, and then after the preliminaries are done, there, there will be a uh, maximum of 24 competing at the quarterfinals. Okay, after quarterfinals, move on to the semifinals and then the finals. Uh, so, you notice the registration fee is $10. Okay, um, we structured it this way because it, we want to make it fair for all the contestants. So, people who don't make it to the next round, I, we don't want them to pay extra. Right, more than the people who actually make it all the way to the finals, let's say, right? So, um, people who make it to the second round, that, that's when they pay the additional $5, if you look at that. And then, so, for people who don't make it to the next round, they don't have to pay, right? So, it's fair for the people, like, you know, who don't make it. So, you don't have to sort of, like, pay for the other contestants to compete in this competition, right? That's, what, that's one of the reasons. And the second reason is because uh, we want to make sure that you're committed competition and you won't drop out midway. You know, we, we tell you that, oh, you made it, and then you're like, oh, you know what, I, I decided to drop out sort of thing, right? So, um, you know, we're going to do this at every round. Any questions about that? Um, my question is, how many are you choosing from the Chinese community? Okay, there's going to be at least one representative, okay, chosen from each round right. to get all the way into the semifinals. Okay. okay, so if you're a Japanese or Korean background or Filipino background, right? Um, you know, you have less competition, right? Because majority of the people would be, I guess, Chinese people, right? Because um, for all the other cultures, uh, you know, at least one of them will make it all the way to the semifinals. And then for the semifinals, uh, into the finals, they look at the actual score. So it's fair for everyone, right? Because this is a multicultural thing, so that's why each community has at least one representative representing that culture okay so that's why you know we brought up the um, community thing so if you can bring up you know other cultures or friends family who might be interested let them know um, age range is 14 to 30 right so there should be many people who are qualified to get into these uh, I mean this competition so um, next editions uh, Friday Saturday Sunday of next week and that's it okay yeah, go ahead, Darren. Oh, hi everyone. I'm Darnell Thomas. Um, I'm I'm a vocalist. I've been doing it for about 16 years. Um, I'm the grand champion performer of the World 2008 for World Championships of Performing Arts. Um, it's a competition held in Los Angeles every year, where 40 countries come together and compete. Um, I also just finished doing the Glee um, promotions um, tour um, for the Canadian leg. Um, last week actually was the final um, performance and that's basically what I've been doing so far. Hi, I'm Mark Cristini. Um, basically I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm also a producer. Um, a few years back um, I produced this, I uh, wrote a song for an Asian girl group, girl group that was uh, first nominated for a Juno. So an Asian group that's nominated for a Juno is pretty pretty good. Yep. Uh, especially like what, four, ten, 10 years ago. Yep. So. Um, I hope we continue. Like, there's a lot of Asian talents, and um, I've heard a lot of good things. So, we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yep. Uh, I'm Wa, and uh, basically a producer songwriter. Um, I've worked with many Juno Award engineers, uh, many multi platinum and gold songwriters, um, and I work with a lot of uh, labels overseas and, and locally in Canada and the U.S. to try and promote Canadian talent, uh, Asian talent, multicultural talent, all that stuff because we have. You know, a pocket of very talented people, but no one's really doing anything about them, so we're trying to find a market for them and develop that. And this is part of that sort of project, so to speak. It's not officially a project, but 
you know, if good things happen, then I can tell them, hey, good things are happening, and then they can take notice, but, you know, they just have to see it and watch it develop, so that's what I do. Cool, we're done. <laughs> okay, well, the first contestant okay, goes. So I participate in a lot of my choirs. I've been in the Selfish Living Choir, and I really like singing. Cool. So, so your name again? Uh, Joanne Kim. Joanne or Joanne? Uh, Joanne, J-O-N. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool, what are you going to sing for us? Um, Already Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Cool. Just whenever you're ready, just relax. Okay. Relax, <laughs> you know. Yeah, shake off the nerves. How are you? Remember all the things we wanted. Now all our memories, they're haunted. We were always meant to say goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even with our fists held high, we never would have made it right. Yeah, yeah. We were always meant for do or die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, right. So same what's more comfortable. Yeah. Because right? oh, okay. it's it's like nobody really cares about the song. It's how you deliver it. Yeah. 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 So whatever you're comfortable with, sing that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, like but the image, commercial the thing is with image. Yeah. It can always. Yeah. Exactly. You know, creative. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, I mean, it's it's, it's the vocals and it's how they. I think with just some training for her, yeah. she can probably get a lot better. Cause she's it was she's not like. It's like coverable, right? Yeah. It's not like, oh, you can't even. Yeah, but she can carry it too. Yeah, yeah. But she just needs a little bit of pitching yeah. and yeah. delivery. Yeah. I'm four years old and have participated in many musicals in choir or um, church. However, I have some sort of a <laughs> some sort of a shyness when it comes to singing in front of other people. 
if it's not part of a community. So I'm just here to try out um, on how my singing will be in front of you guys and also boost up my confidence and boost my shyness. So I hope you like it. And um, the song that I'll be singing is You Want Me To by Sarah McLaughlin. And I'll just sing the first lyrics and the chorus. So, there we go. Relax. <laughs> okay. Following your aimless path away from us. You're so far away. And what can I say? Because I can't be the one you wanted me to be. So tell me, how do you feel? It's so confusing. If you let it all go. Listening to you, um, you have a very unique voice. I, yeah, I can hear. Actually, I can hear. Who, who's the artist that you just sang? Um, Sarah McLaughlin. I can actually hear her in, in your. I don't know if you just you mimic that or that's just the tone of your voice, but it's very good. Keep it up. Uh, projection. You need to just project a little bit more. Okay. Um, pitch. Pitch in the beginning. Maybe because you were nervous, right? Don't be nervous. Just first note is always important, right? Okay. So, but then you 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 picked it up, so which is really good. Um, I really really like your the uh, the, uh, the tone of your your voice. So work on that uh, and breathing. And you'll be able to, if you breathe, when you learn how to breathe, you'll be more comfortable. You'll be more confident. Have you have you considered taking vocal lessons before? I have for two years. Yeah, two years. So just work on, ask them to work on, on breathing. Don't be nervous. Like, you know, <laughs> and I think we've all been to auditions before. Yeah. With a lot more people, right? So right now, just use it as like, you know, just, we're just feeding your feedback. Okay. Do you know any like other youthful songs? Because you're 14, right? And yeah. you're singing a song that I think a 30 year old woman sings. <laughs> Yeah, 40. It's a good point. Yeah, you know. So when you when you go for these auditions, try to try to think about okay, what's what's sort of like age appropriate. Because imagine if I went up to sing, I feel like a natural woman. You know, <laughs> cut out, you know I'm not a woman, right? So, <laughs> and, and even though I sing it, you know, perfectly and pitch perfect, vocal technique amazing, all that stuff, it's not going to be as effective if I were to sing, I don't know, Born to Be Wild or something like that. It's more of like a male-driven song, right? So when you audition for that stuff, sort of look that. And um, do, would, for your vocal lessons, are they group lessons or are they like private lessons? Private. Okay. Who, who, who do you go to? Um, I used to go to a program, a singing lesson program in Long and Long Yeah. And um, I think my tutor's name was Natalie. Mm -hmm. Do you play any instruments? Um, you should try to pick up an instrument. It just will just help you with with your ranges. Like try to pick up like keyboard. Um, and also as a, as an artist, right? And and you're singing these kind of songs like Sarah McLaughlin. She's a singer songwriter, so she definitely is a multi uh, multi mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, instrument yeah, player. Yeah. So that's how she kind of learns her, and that's how she yeah. kind of creates her own songs. Yeah. Right? So it's something. You're 14. You still have a yeah, lot. Yeah. Yeah. A long way to go. But <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you feel like music is really your passion, you're really yeah. passionate about it. Go all the way, you know. Try and look for, like, for you. I, I would. I would you normally advise people to never stick with a vocal trainer for more than a year, because um, different vocal trainers have different techniques, and it they give you bringing different uh, ideas to your mind. And when you're learning vocals, it's about discovering your voice, right? And so sometimes getting a new perspective on vocals that helps tremendously, right? So consider that too, and try to try again just. 
or get the vocals and I think the pitch because you have you do have an interesting time. You do have an interesting yeah. And uh, when you're auditioning, even in a small room like this, don't be afraid to belt it out. Like I know you, it sounds like you want to just let it out. Just let it out. Like you know, don't worry because it's small. You know, just just let it out. Right? If you have to even close your eyes, like what I do in, in some of the auditions or, or, or artists that I work with, close your eyes. It, you know, it doesn't matter who, who's. You know, just close your eyes and then just just feel the song. You know? <laughs> Do you, have any, do you have any questions for us? Um, no. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I'm Lynn. So, and I'm Sorry? I'm Lynn. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, I'm 14. I live about an hour away from here. I sing whenever I can, and it's my first time, so I'm kind of nervous. Just relax. <laughs> No, I had We're nervous too, actually. I had trouble picking songs, so I don't remember half of mine. It's okay. okay. So I can just start Where are you ready? Um, it's called Out From Under by Britney Spears. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> um, okay. I'm really scared. <laughs> you set yourself the beat first, and sometimes it helps. Breathe you out. Oh, I sound horrible. No, no, no. Yeah, no just say. relax. Yeah, yeah. If you have to close your eyes, close your eyes. And just... Breathe you in. Get more relax. You keep coming back. Tell me it's the one it could have been. In my eyes, I see it. Do you want to look at the lyrics on the iPhone? I have that. Or do you want to find out? I have that. Yeah. What's the song called again? Yes. Oh, from there. Just relax. Oh, from there. Oh, I tell you the name, Christine. L-I-N-H. Oh, that's What are you saying when you can buy yourself and no one's Way better. Yeah. Okay, so just sing whatever so. that is. Whatever. It doesn't have to be the song. Yeah, just, yeah. Whatever you sing when you're alone and you want to, like, you know, belt it out. I only remember half of like Halo. Halo? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, I like that song. So just relax and honestly, like, we all hate to criticize you or judge you. We're just here to okay. help support you. you. Yeah. Okay. Um, Remember those walls I built? Well, maybe they're tumbling down. And they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Standing in the light of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. I am never gonna shut you out. That's not remember. That's good. Okay, let's try that again. And let's like I'm gonna give Paul. I'm gonna read a key, and I'm gonna sing it with you. Okay, let's try that. You gonna stop? Remember, remember those walls I built. Baby, they're tumbling down, and they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. And I found a way to let you in But I never really had a doubt Standing in the light of your halo I got my angel now It's good like I don't know the rest Okay, that's fine, just relax yeah, That was a lot better a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, think what, I think what you just need is just need to um, find, a, find a note that you're comfortable with Because when you started without his, his, his guidance You started on a very low note so it's like to use like oh, I, I don't know if you know, but when he gave you a note that you're comfortable with, you were able to carry it, right? And if, if you just knew the whole lyrics, the whole song, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely encourage you to go up, you know, sing more off as much as you can, sing in front of people, and just get get comfortable with that, and just enjoy the song. Like when you when you 
when you come out for audition and stuff, the best thing is when you come out and enjoy yourself. And you're singing as if you're thinking, like what you said, when you're singing by yourself. That's what people want to see, right? So it's, it's, it's entertaining, right? So just kind of try to keep that mind relaxed a lot more. Don't worry about the lyrics or whatever, just worry about enjoying yourself. And what, what I'm also hearing is that you have, you're, you're capable of having a good, strong voice. Yep. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, I mean, you have a, you have this thick voice that, that, I mean, if you are able to harness it and to, to mold it, it's going to be like a diva voice, right? Yeah. So you're giving us, <laughs> you're not, you're just giving us like yeah. 5% just, of just your voice. Just be confident, right? It's just, you, you can, you can do that. Yeah, so put yourself out there in those dangerous zones where people are like, you, you might not sound the greatest, but the point isn't to sound the greatest at that point. The point is to build up to the point where you can sound the greatest, okay. right? So yeah. just do that and enjoy yourself when you sing. Do you mind if I have her sing a few lines? Yeah, go ahead. Um, um, okay, I'm gonna give you the lyrics here. Just to, you know, I think that you have something that you just you know, preach at least. So, there you go. And you're gonna say, um, that's cool. you know the you know the song, right? Oh yeah. So you're just gonna say. So I'll I'll start saying with you, and then eventually I'm gonna be just silent. how long? So start from the beginning, and I'll give you key, and you will start singing, and just relax. Okay. And just relax. Pop to the beat, yeah. Are you gonna sing it? When the love songs are built, well, baby, they're tumbling down. And they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. Yeah. Standing in the light of your halo. I got my angel now It's like I've been awakened Every rule I had to break it It's the risk that I'm taking I ain't ever gonna show it you up Everywhere I'm looking up I'm surrounded by your embrace Baby, I can see your halo You know you're my saving grace that was a lot better. Yeah, than way better. The first, the as, first time. Yeah. As you realize, every time you start to sing more and more, you you start to get more comfortable and yeah, yeah. start to sound better. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You just really need to be more confident in what yes. you know. You know, confidence is a, a, a really big part of singing. You know, you, I've had times where I literally have no voice, but my confidence itself just you know pushed me through to get through the song, and that's fine. You know, so don't be nervous. Okay. Right. No, I, I was just. Do you take any vocal lessons at all? When I was younger, not anymore. Okay. And what reason? Why I suggested that you, you take the vocal lessons? In the because the reason why is because it just move your your vocal cords are muscles, right? So it's like it's like anything you you work and you work and you make it stronger. Right? So, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. I like that what you just what you did with it. Yeah, it also builds her confidence. Yeah, like right? how you know like if you're I think like, she looked really happy. Actually. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she was terrified. She was, she was terrified. Like, like, yeah. It's like, oh, okay, okay, this sounds terrible. Sounds and then it's yeah, like, like, okay, I'm relaxed. She's smiling so. in the end. Yeah, you know. Sounds <laughs> good. I'm happy for her. Very good. Hi, how's it going? Hello, oh. everyone. Uh, my name is Sheldon, and I said she loved you. Are you uh, the only guy today? You know? No, there's another guy. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. There's another oh, guy. I'm 21 years old, cool. and um, I'm currently taking business in UOIT, and um, I've been had an interest of singing for the past four to five years. Um, before that, I've been in choir and um, in bands, like high school bands, and um, I do play the piano as well. Cool. Yeah. So we're gonna. A lot of the people that we saw, they didn't play any instruments. Oh, okay. So we actually suggested to, to pick up an instrument so they can work with instruments and stuff. Oh. So now that you do, <laughs> we <laughs> pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, never even. So what are, you, what are you singing for us? Oh, I'm singing Jackie Chung's uh, Blue Rain. Yeah. Just relax. Can I, can I start? Yeah, like, 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 go, 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 go hold your hands together. Okay. Relax. relax. Yes. Fui fui de ti, un hong de guy, 
继续，誓与定，用邪门，交织出一张冰冷面。迷恋的风中，街中一把早起始的破伞，像雪怎么过这一天？曾很喜欢阴阴天，因我爱看雨点，在微凉风中洒向你，轻吻你面。仍然今天，空空的街中，飘飘雨内，没有你，阴的天，极讨厌。冷冷雨，哦哦，每焦点因找不到你。冷冷雨，第一仿佛要等你经过。我说冷雨。求求停吧，别再逆抛一个。忘掉雨里过去有爱里走过。Thank you. Thanks. Do you sing in Mandarin? Yeah, I can sing in Mandarin. Do you know Do you know any like uh, Gary or Jay Chow? Yeah, um, Gary or Jay Chow. Um, David Tao. You want us to try a David Tao song? David Tao song. Um, or or what, any one of those guys. Any more of the current stuff. More current stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I might not be uh, accurate with the lyrics. Don't worry about the lyrics. I don't even understand. <laughs> These guys don't even understand them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just listening to tone and pitches and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like, do you know the melody, David Tao? Uh, I know Liu Liu Sha. Yeah, do that one. Bing Bu Shi Zhen Da, Bu Kui Er Yi, Ye Bu Shi Zhen Da, Bu Kui Shang Ni, Zhen Du Bu Shi Zhen Da, Shi Pian Zi Ji, Qi Shi Hai Ai Ni. 爱着你，我以为我就想清楚，不要这种恍恍惚惚又就回头路。再看一眼有过的幸福，爱情好像流沙，我不挣扎。随他去吧，我不害怕。Take a long second. Well, now do the chorus again, but open up a lot more. Like, open up. Like, yeah. what's delivery? Yeah. Go give, like give more of it. Go try it. Okay. 爱情好像流沙，我不挣扎，我不挣扎。Open up more than that. 我不挣扎，我不挣扎，随他去吧，我不害怕。恩爱情好像流沙，明知该躲他，无法自拔。Oh baby， 是我太傻。Remember to open up more sometimes. Oh, because it's a gentle song, so that's why I sort of. Oh no, you can still be gentle when you open up, right? Okay. It's because I noticed yeah. like in when you were singing, like you yeah, have great potential, by the way. Okay. Um, yeah, the tone of your voice is great, but then there's certain like vocal techniques, like where when you go into the falls, make it nice, clear, and crisper, right? Right. And it, you can still maintain that soft dynamic, but just increase the volume, right? Okay. There's um. Practice. See, what he was saying to open up not only just to deliver it, right? But when you kind of 
when you kind of uh, close yourself, not try not to, do it, it goes a little bit flat, right? Okay. So when you kind of shy away from that note, it'll go flat. So what you need to do is you need to um, open up, hit the note even a little bit above it. So if you go flat, you'll just hit it perfect. Okay. Right? Also work on your chest voice. Your chest voice going into your switch voice, which is your your yeah your real switch to yeah. your, your yeah. Uh, falsetto voice. Uh, give you that like that. It's like a totally different tone, right? You uh, it's just a transaction, a smooth transaction. Like transaction right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's called the switch, just your switch yeah. voice. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So very good. Very good. Um, yeah, and try to try to bring out your, your false a little more. Okay. Um, and if you can include the Jackie song it would be great if you went out into your I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's sort of like a the ending where it's well, it's, it's just it's more, more like right now you, you have the soft yeah. tone. Okay. Smooth. You you're, got that emotion. Yeah, exactly. You got it smooth. Right? Right? I listen to a lot of Asian yeah. songs and I, I can, like, if I close my eyes, I, I wouldn't, like, I could picture like the karaoke video. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, you got yeah. that down path. Yeah. Right? yeah. Pitches, a little bit of pitches work yeah. like that into the. Yeah, yeah. Because you got you got it, the audience drawn in, but then after that you have to sweep them off with the beat or something. Oh, okay. Damn it. Give me a little right? Ace, right? Okay. Exactly. So try try if you can to learn that. Do you right. take vocal lessons at all? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, try to try to learn that, that technique if you can. Okay. Uh, of sort of I don't want to say belt. I'll almost a belt. Don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. Like yeah. Um, I would just like one of the things that's like has to do a lower rather like your lower tone. Like it sounds like you're just grazing your bottom of your range. Okay. So it sounds really um you, you go pitch. It becomes flat at times. Okay. Um throughout the song. Um and then when you open up on your high range, you know it, there's like a bright brighter feeling to it. Okay. So work on your bottom range and be a little more confident and when you're you know reaching out to sing in your chest voice, you know, as he said, work in your chest voice a yeah. little more. And then with that you can just smooth your bridges out so okay. you know bring your chest into your head voice, etc. Okay. You know? So um but I like I like your emotion. I like the show. I like that you sing Chinese <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, like that. Emotion. Is everyone else sing English? <laughs> uh, most people say yeah. English and, and you know if you feel more okay. comfortable in Chinese, I say seeing Chinese. It's like okay. he said, it doesn't matter what song it depends, it's just you're delivering okay. your performance a bit, right? Okay. So uh, I'm really glad you sang the Jackie song too because I don't know if you guys heard Jackie before. <laughs> yeah. And your vibrato, just where you just can try to control it a little more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. Sound like. Yeah, huh. me too. Yeah. Like, if this was that, like, I can't really do it, but like, it, this is what your vibrato is doing. It's rally instead of. Okay. You know more about it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we, the reason why we bring a little bit more because we know that you're you can play piano and you're, you're a little older than yeah. So and we want to just yeah, we help you see out. you improve. Yeah. yeah. See you improve by next week if you come yeah. back. And we want you to like. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Is this something like you want to do, or is it something fun, or? Um. Yeah. I I I'm learning vocal lessons, yeah. and I do want to see myself accomplish something. Yeah. 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 Go to uh, attend yeah. different competitions and yeah. stuff. Like I, well, I think you, you, yeah. Yeah. Just keep working on your voice. You sound great. Um, do, you, do you do any writing at all since you play instruments? Uh, so no. I always encourage our um, vocalists yeah. to do some writing. It just can make them more creative. And you know, it also yeah. helps with their vocals as well. Yeah. So maybe you can start like even small yeah. little songs you can. You know, oh, like so. different melodies. And yeah. Like, so you can play around with melodies, yeah. and then once you start hearing melodies in your head, you yeah. can start playing around with it with your vocals. Yeah, and you'll know how to make a song better actually. Exactly. When if, when you learn how to write, you learn how to make a song okay. that's already been done and make it ten times better. I see. Yeah. Mentioned that actually. I think I'll. Um, Send out an email next three weeks. Um, I there's supposed to be a vocal workshop with um, a vocal um, jazz vocal um, Drina. She actually works at New York University, and she's doing this course on songwriting, but more like soul solution as well, mm -hmm. like writing with the soul and stuff. And that'd be really good for you. So um, I guess we have emails, yeah. and I'll just send it out. So you get to send that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Very good job. Hello, judges. Hi. Uh, my name is Billy. Billy? Billy. 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 Okay. Yes. Last name Duong, D U O N G. How old are you, Was born in Vietnam, uh, Chinese background all the way. Uh, grew up there, came to Canada about 14, 15 years ago. 
Um, has haven't stopped singing since age of 12. Uh, can't live without it. How old are you? 28. Okay, cool. And another reason for this competition is finally the extended the age limit. So yeah. <laughs> Last year it says 25, so. 30? Yeah. Yeah, last year it was 25. It. Yeah. So I showed up last year and they yeah. go, ah. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna um, sing a song from a Taiwanese uh, Which singer. Which one? Uh, Eric Mu. Uh, that's his name. He, he's been Malaysia. He, he's, he's from Malaysia. I'm from Malaysia. Too. Yeah, as well. Um, but uh, he went to Taiwan and it's kind of an oldies kind of thing. Um, the title for the song in Chinese is uh, Li Shi Wo De Wei Yi, so you're my only one. Uh, I'm gonna do half the song, it's cool. Hen sang ge ni xie feng xin Gao su ni zhe li de tian qi Zuo ye di ne chang dian ying Hai yo wo de xin qi Then 我是你不相信我很满意这样的结局我是你不相信我没有意思的埋怨和回忆虽然你是我的最初虽然你是我的最终虽然你是我的唯一 Thank you. Cool. Nice. Do you do you know any more like any current Mandarin songs? Uh, current Mandarin songs, uh, not memorized lyrics in my head, uh, but um, because of work and and hasn't been able haven't oh, yeah. been able to sure. explore yeah. a lot of new music. <laughs> yeah. But uh, grew up with you know the the big four from Hong yeah, Kong yeah, yeah, and all yeah. those oldies from Taiwan. Um, that's what we call music back then. Yeah. <laughs> the new one is I don't know. I can't can't relate to that too much. Yeah. 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 You have you have an interesting tone. It's uh, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> but yeah. Go. It's um. Well, what I have here is um. I like your delivery. I like your emotion. It's very good. Um. I think you got that song or that kind of um, music genre down path, right? right? Like, so you might want to just to improve your vocals, or you might want to try something a little bit out of your range, or a little bit out of your range, because you're just too comfortable. right? So you, you deliver it well, you deliver it good, you're singing good, but it just feels like you're, you already got that good. Like, mm -hmm. try something that's more, a little bit challenging for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're vocally, vocally, right? Um, I can hear that you've obviously been singing for a while, mm -hmm. which is really good. I mean. I don't understand any lyrics, <laughs> but I mean it's really good. Like I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel what you're singing. Thank right, you. I don't need to understand what you're. What you're you could be saying anything. I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, uh, tone is very good, like what he said. Yeah, okay. but um, yeah, just to, just the um, just try a little bit something a little bit more out of your do you, comfort. Do you know any songs that come out a lot more? Uh, Song, yeah, um, it's it's also a Mandarin so so back in the nineties as well. If you guys yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I don't believe it. Shu wo fang ti le ni. Shu wei le yi ge mei you li you de jue di. Yi wei zhe shi wo ke yi. Hold on, stop right there. Yeah. Just run. Do you know that song? Do you, can you try that? Yeah. I think you're probably uh, really good in that. <laughs> uh, I'll try to memorize the lyrics though. Yeah, yeah. Xin ruo jian liao, lei ye gan liao, zhe fen 
深情难舍难留，爱一个人如何厮守？苍老，怎样面对一切？我不知道。Yeah， 我不知道。Come on, a lot more. Right, and then. Think about doing a guy version of that song. Yes, it's a good song. It's got a great melody, and if you can come out on that part, right, the chorus hits, it's gonna blow people away. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, no, no. Looking forward to having more fun. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, nice day, guys. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, what? Um, do you guys want me to do the intro first? Or? Yeah. Okay, well, I was in audit. I took commerce for U of T. Hated my job. I quit. I was, I was an intern, then it was full time, and then I left August, no, October of 23rd last year. I was sort of an employee, and now I'm working as a collections agent with RBC. But the reason why I left is because I want to pursue singing and acting. It's funny because you mentioned Glee, because uh, I'm going to submit a video because they have that thing going on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But uh, um, something that it, that is what I'm interested in. So I just want to uh, try it because you're young, you live once. If you don't do it now, I'm not going to do it when I'm 70. <laughs> you know, like it's now or never. So I keep it when you're 70. <laughs> yes, but the, the roles will be different. I'll be the lady in the fucking chair. You know, like but um, yeah, and so that's just really my thing. And I just really want to find ways to get in and so I'm just like going out doing singing competitions meeting people networking is a huge thing yeah. small community you need to know people so ding 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 <laughs> I'm 24 yeah um, but, uh, yeah. what are you gonna sing first? I'm gonna sing at last yeah yes but it's one of my yeah I like that song it's really nice it's one of those songs I sang it for a wedding everybody loved it yeah. cool. um, but I guess I'll begin. Yeah. You guys look like you're pretty. Okay. <laughs> My voice is just a little dry. I don't know if this water is not really working. Relax, but... yeah. So if I, cr I don't think I'll crack. I'm just... Yeah. <sighs> My love has come along. Ooh, my lonely days are over And life is like a song At last Ooh, the skies above are blue Yes it is And my heart was wrapped up in clover and I looked at you, oh, 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 I found a dream that I can speak to, a dream that I can call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to, oh, a thrill that I For you are mine at last. Thanks. Very good. Cool. Your voice is still a little. <coughs> Try. <laughs> Have you auditioned for a uh, Canadian uh, Idol? I did. The first year it came out, but it was such a cattle call and such a mess that I was just like, not going back again. And I think I was in grade 11. I had to skip like the whole day. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, but uh, that's also luck too with Canadian Idol, right? Because yeah. it's like you have so many people and they can be so, you know, they can be good, but they have like eight preliminary judges and they're sort of all looking for something. Well, at least I feel like they were. And yeah. it's like five, 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 and you go in and you sing, and then it's like done. No teeth, no nothing. nothing. And it's a Canadian show, so I don't know. About like it's Canadian Idol. Yeah, no. American no. Idol. Yeah. Like yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. I yeah. call it the <clears throat> Canadian I, I, Idol. Right? I love your energy. Thank you. I mean, I actually when you when you mentioned Glee, mm -hmm. I mean I can actually hear you and <laughs> see you on that on that <laughs> ship. Because it's like one theater, but then you still have that you know what I mean that you can connect to the audience right. type of vocal voice. Mm -hmm. um, very good delivery, very strong. Okay. Um, play a little with your ad libs. Okay. Right? Just explore that a bit. Okay. I think I'll just give you another uh, another uh, positive touch. Right. But just play around with ad libs and your vibratos. Okay. Um, very good choice of song okay. for audition because not a lot of people can pull that off. Mm -hmm. You either have it or you don't have it right, right for that song. So mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, for me, like my my tip would actually ooze all you can. I don't <laughs> like out of that song when you do that song and, and slow it down, right? And then my love has come along. Right? Sort of like exactly. Yeah. Don't rush it, right? Yeah. Just slow it down and ooze every because you can do it, right? And that you know when you go into those airy tones, let those people you hear that air, you know, and just sort of like. Rock the shit out of it, but slowly. <laughs> there's so many versions of that song too. There's like the Ida James version. There's yeah. like the Chrissy Angular version, yeah. and I kind of sort of yeah. do something in the middle. But yeah, yeah, yeah no, just slow it down, especially for auditions, because yeah. that song is all about bleeding it for yeah. everything. It's <laughs> at last. I don't want to like over Yeah, like right? because, right. because the thing with that song is is the first few seconds of that song. Like we can only know if you're gonna if it, if you're gonna make that song. Right? Yeah, right? you'll know. There's so yeah, so much I mean, emotion in so. that song. It's yeah. like you know. So I mean, sl slow it down. Yeah. Okay. Slow it down. Even though you know it's an audition, mm -hmm. slow it down. Uh, cool. Um, I'll be honest. Like you have good pipes, definitely, but you rush the song, mm -hmm. and I felt like you were losing the emotion. Like mm -hmm. as much as you, like as much as you, as much energy as you had, you're losing emotion with it. And as well as your ad libs were pitchy at times. Um, that being said, I think that there's definitely great potential across the board. But I, I think if you're going to do a song again, mm -hmm. if you're going to perform it later on in the competition, yeah. really focus on what the lyrics are, are asking you for. Because it, it felt like you were. It didn't. It felt somewhat honest, mm -hmm. but at times it felt like you were actually taking things from Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. Cause I've heard both versions. I've heard several versions actually. Mm -hmm. said, make it your song. Right. Don't like. Don't, don't copy. Don't copy yeah, and then like go oh, copy and paste. Make it your song. Embody the song a more, and that will just transpire onto the audience and the judges. Yeah, because I actually think you, you might be able to do it better than them if you really want to work at it. You know. Yeah. Like and just key into the lyrics. Like what I normally do in terms of linear sound is like I would rewrite the lyrics. Like literally sit down. Even though I can print them, I rewrite the lyrics and I would just focus on what the lyrics are asking mm -hmm. for. That way, you want to be able to yeah, deliver that deliver the too. song yeah. with what you like in tone and everything. So mm -hmm. try that. But otherwise, I I enjoyed it. Thank you. Definitely. Do you have do you do you have any other songs that you? Ready to kind of what are you gonna sing to Glee? Oh, Glee! I'm singing "Lean on Me." That's heavy. Um, it's just—it's such a bad day. I wasn't even gonna come today. It was so bad because I—I wasn't—I was in a part of a script and they wrote me out. Mm -hmm. So usually we have rehearsals from 15 to, or sorry, uh, the, from 12 p.m. to 5. And then I woke up this morning. And I checked Facebook. I was like, oh my god, there's the audition. I'm gonna come because I got cut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why it's, it's like close to so right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like yeah. so close. But um, one thing I'll tell you: though, don't ever go into an audition, yeah. especially like in, like in Glee, like. So I'm going to audition and be like, I yeah, I yeah, I know how to Yeah, I know. Like, you're asking you to get cut yeah. it, now. It, it, it puts you in a in a very negative position, but yeah. also like they will, they're already turning off. They're mm -hmm. like, they just want you to come there just to level. Yeah, no so, You know, to like honestly, but let's hand me on me. Okay, I did practice it yesterday. <laughs> Some times in our lives. We all have pain, we all have sorrow But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow Lean on me, when you're not strong, I'll be your friend 
I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. <laughs> I don't remember yeah, the whole I, I thought that was a lot more honest yeah, than, your last, nice. yeah. than your last song. Well, because you guys also said smooth. Yeah, so it's all like feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see how, see the difference between when you actually feel the song, slow it down? Yeah. You, know? you can yeah. actually work with it a little bit more. And yeah. Also, sometimes I think, though, people sometimes rush the songs is because they're like, they're really right. Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. You yeah. gotta yeah. need yeah. to practice to like pretend it's all happening in slow motion. And you're the flash and everything, it just. That's true. Yeah, yeah, and, and you can and you can take control of the moment more when you can see everything happening. So mm -hmm. say, oh, this is about to happen. I, I can get control of it before it, you know, yeah. sort of gets there for sure. Like, and and you prevent those cracks from happening. Yeah. Like well, that. one thing to remember when you're in audition, it's your time to. Like, yeah. This is. I mean, this is your maybe your last shot, right? So take your time. It's your time. You know. Yep, Nobody no. else is talking about yeah. Oh, you're totally right. Like, totally <laughs> yeah. from the Go listen to, like, go look at Amarali's audition for Glee. Okay. She had the same thing. She came in here, she was nervous. And all she did was she turned her back, actually, closed her eyes, and well, let the voice do the rest of the week. I'm not saying go turn your back on the on the <laughs> 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 like, make it really felt nervous. If you're really, really feeling nervous, do anything that makes you feel comfortable. Right. Because it is your voice that they're going to be listening yeah. for most of the time. Yeah. So, oh, you should be fine. I'm, like, I thoroughly, like, that's what I should so far. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Guys. Have a good day. Oh, do we need a picture? Yeah. Right. Take care. Have a good one. Good job. Good job. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 She didn't hear Right now, like, she's definitely probably back. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot better. Strong, very strong. Oh, yeah, like, because we've had one person yesterday. She's actually, but she was 30, though, right? That was the, the April, I think she was 23. Yeah. Think was like, she sang Celine Dion's um, Because You Love Me. <laughs> it was really good. It was actually, like, the best audition <clears throat> of that day. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, definitely. Um, but I think um, it was very karaoke ish. Oh, yeah. It's just very like yeah. saying it just the way Celine did it. Yeah. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens with my news. We, I wish we had a chance to talk to them. We should have talked to them actually. Yeah. Well, well, my, my personal views yeah. on karaoke is I don't, I don't think people should actually sing. If they're going to become real singers, yeah, not yeah. practice on karaoke at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. Like, it just doesn't do any Unless justice. they have the musicality to, you know, make yeah. it their own and yeah. understand that this is just to help. It just doesn't guide them. I mean, them, it's fun. Define it. It's fun and everything, but if you're practicing for a competition, if you're actually being really serious about it, so there's no care for yeah, That's right. the thing about Asian, <laughs> Asian pursuing artists yeah. in general. They mm -hmm. all just do it karaoke. Yeah, no. So, yeah. this is what I do. Like, it's our, it's our culture. Everybody's a karaoke right? bar. I yeah. sing horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I don't even go up to try. I just yeah. go up for the fun of like, yeah, yeah exactly. okay. just you, want, fun. you want you want me to do that? Okay, fine. Because yeah. I'm not a huge fan of karaoke. Yeah, yeah, another, another but if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna sing horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a fun thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Like when Journey comes on, yeah. everyone's oh. singing. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I, I'm. I also manage a a, um, a studio. Yeah. A M Studio. We actually instead of a karaoke machine, people yeah. go up. We have like live players. In yeah, yeah. I know Dale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so a buddy of mine, Dale. So we. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's actually better for musicians and, and yeah. artists to, to do that. They, actually, Dale hosts this. It was MC for like last year. Oh yeah, yeah. him and uh, Mike Masankai. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Those two guys have a funny chemistry on stage. So <laughs> I, I want to get them a game this year. Yeah, it's yeah. like a older guy and a younger guy. Yeah. And so. Actually, Dale was the manager of Aura. Yeah, and he asked, he approached me and asked me if I could produce. Oh, right. cool. Aura. So, yeah, so Aura. Aura. I think they're a pop group. Oh, I wasn't the rest. Of the okay. Um, today was uh, I guess was one of my first audition. Yep. Um, to to uh, to be a, a judge and thank you for the opportunity and um, I think it went well. Um, there we we saw a couple of uh, good um, vocalists mm -hmm. who who just needs a little bit more a um, uh, little more training. Um, the the younger ones, um, I like the fact that they came out. Yeah, you know, yeah. just to to support even support a, a contest like this. Um, support the community, and it's a good stepping stone for them yeah. to, uh, to to come out and uh, and uh, support and uh, see where they go from yeah. there. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, definitely some potential, and I'm glad that we had a lot of younger ones today. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm also glad we got the came out. And we actually had a lot of more people singing in their own language. Yeah, right. This time, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. and it sounded really yesterday. good and interesting, and yeah. made everything. And, and I think I like uh, the fact that that we are able to, um, you know. 
take our time to um, to kind of criticize, uh, construct, criti give them construct. Uh, yeah, criticism. Criticism. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very good. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, some of them came in nervous. Yeah, as hell, yeah, like, especially and scared and yeah. like kind of upset, and you know, and they left really, really happy. Yeah, and that's what it is, right? Yeah, like, it's yeah. not a cutthroat thing right now. Like, exactly. Um, yeah. um, we're here to help them mainly. And yeah. um, I think with our experiences, we, we kind of did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you.